And in terms of the suggestion that we are seeking to cover up or to avoid a criminal prosecution, I say again to you, in the most straightforward, measured way I possibly can, that is simply not true. Now, I don't know where the Prime Minister has been living, whether it's Belize or Miami or London or Cannes or wherever these people are going these days. But has he not been seeing what is taking place? Has he not been watching the news every time Cola comes and says we are being roadblocked? We are being stonewalled when it comes to getting the necessary evidence? This Prime Minister said there is no cover up. Now, what I want to tell the Prime Minister is that it is his commissioner of police, the one that he is paying, the one that he appointed, that today refuses to give us the evidence. It is his DPP that has fallen off the radar. We have not heard from the DPP. It is his Auditor General that has not come forth with this Auditor General's report. We had to actually get this from an anonymous source. A patriotic Belizean has come forward with this very damning report. So when the Prime Minister speak, or when he speaks or when he spoke yesterday, it, it, it is almost as though he's in some sort of time warp. He figures or he feels as though he's in 2008 and that he can feed the media and feed the nation whatever he wants and that we will just eat it up. He thinks that we will just eat up whatever nonsense that he's saying, that there is no cover-up when all of the evidence shows that there is a massive cover-up taking place.